closet is not tidy and aesthetically pleasing, I tend to have a hard time getting dressed. But when it is, I tend to get dressed with ease. I enjoy being in my closet and I also enjoy getting dressed. In this video, I'm gonna share with you seven tips on how you can create an aesthetically pleasing closet and keep it tidy. For me, when I am getting dressed in the morning, I need for my closet to be in order. A lot of my ways come from when I was a child. <laughs> I was a very neat kid. I had everything in order. My mom was very neat and my dad is super neat. So those types of behaviors, I just kind of took them on as a child and brought them into my adulthood. So I'm gonna share with you seven tips that I do for an aesthetically pleasing closet that I keep tidy. If you guys already know, my name is Coco. I do fashion content for tall women and sometimes for the other girls as well. Uh, but I love to do content in my closet, which is a bedroom turned walk-in closet. I am gonna do another video on how to create something like this on a budget. So definitely stay tuned for that or if not, I probably already had done the video, <laughs> so check that out. But anyway, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys things that I love to do to keep it tidy in here. And the first thing, ladies, is I always put everything back. All right, hear me out. I posted a video on TikTok about keeping my room or my closet tidy, and one of the things that I do is I put everything back. And I remember a comment from a lady, she says, if you have kids, you can't. <laughs> and I totally get it. Now here's the thing. When you have children and you have a place like a walk-in closet that you created from a bedroom or even one in your actual bedroom, that is an off limit zone for the kids, okay? They have to have boundaries, they do, because it's your space and they have their own space, right? So just have boundaries. And when it comes to them putting things all over, it shouldn't be in your closet. That's the first thing, putting things back when you are finished with the item. Instead of cleaning up on the weekends and taking my entire free weekend, I like to put things back during the week. That way I have my weekends to myself. I do not want to spend my entire free weekend cleaning up my walk-in closet. It's just not something that I want to do. So for me, every day after I wear an item, if it's not going to the dry cleaners or into the laundry, if it's a coat or something, I'm putting everything back. That's a quick way to kind of keep it tidy throughout the week as opposed to doing something on your free weekends. Okay, now it sounds obvious, but I do know people do have children and it's very hard for them to keep things clean because kids can be kids and they have a ton of toys. The other thing you want to do is, and this is tip number two, you want to put like things together. If you guys can see over here, these are my shirts. I don't have a ton, <laughs> but I like to keep like things together. So in this area, I'm going to have my tops, my long sleeves, my short sleeves, and I do have some shawls over here. The other thing I like to do is color coordinate. So if you guys can see the colors kind of really go together. I do have like a tortoiseshell style shirt. I've shown you guys that, but it does go with this. Let me show you. So these three things are hanging but they kind of go together. This is like a little pop in that corner, but I like to put like things together and that is for the aesthetic part for my closet. Listen, people are jumping on this whole aesthetic thing now, but your girl been like this since she has been on her own at a very young age in New York. I've always liked things to look really tidy. Uh, never had anything out of order. I get it from my parents, like I said. So color coordinating is another thing that I like to do as far as the aesthetics for my closet. I do have colorful stuff, but they are on a rolling rack. So that is the other tip, <laughs> put light things together. After you put your light things together, you also wanna make sure you have a place for, you know, extra items that you may have purchased. So it's nothing worse than buying a top and not knowing where it is. So when you do put your light items together, it definitely helps when, when it comes to wearing your clothes. I know a ton of women who shop 
a lot <laughs> and they kind of forget what they have because they throw it wherever they don't have a place for it so having your tops and your pants your dresses and your jackets in an area is a really good way to kind of know what you have which leads me to my third tip have a place for like an outfit of the day type of thing behind me you guys see this red dress I left it there for a reason that is a ballet rod. I like to keep that rod there. I keep some jackets on it because I actually like the way it looks there. But the dress, I have not found a place for it. And I'll tell you, well, I have a place for it, but I need a different type of hanger with some cushion. So I, I have it in my face, so I know to go buy that hanger. But having a place to hang something like an outfit of the day is a really good way to display an outfit for the next day, that night, and actually helps when getting dressed to be quite honest. So if you do not have a ballet rod, check Amazon. This is the Ikea pack system. They have something, but I do not like it because it goes at the corner. But this one, I just kind of screwed it in and it works just fine. You also want to create a daily habit. Your daily habit is going to be putting things back. I said this in the first tip. Put things back as soon as you are finished with the item. Whether it's a bag, whether it's a pair of shoes. You guys know I have this shoe closet back here. I'm gonna just slightly turn the camera so you guys can see right there. <laughs> so put your shoes back. What I like to do, because those are the Billy bookshelves, they're not as thick as the IKEA packs. So what I like to do is, and they're not as, quality is not the best. So, I take my shoes and I just kind of dust off the bottom, put them back. I put my purses and my bags back. I do leave all of my belongings in the purse because 99% of the time I'm going to grab the same purse. If not, at least I know that everything is actually sitting in that bag. Last bag I wore, those are where my items are. Make sure you're putting everything back after you have worn the item. All of these tips are things that people already know, but you would be surprised at how many people <laughs> do not put their stuff back and then before you know it, the room is out of whack. So, like I said, that's just a part of my lifestyle. No judging, ladies. But it does help when things are aesthetically pleasing. I don't even want to say aesthetically pleasing. For me it is, but being tidy is definitely one of those things that I think women who have large closets and a ton of clothes should actually do. Okay, so now you want to create a like a drop off space or area for things that need to be dry cleaned. If you don't put it in your laundry room, you may want to have it in another section. Maybe it's a sweater or something. So if you don't have a space, you can use something that has a shelf. I have a rolling rack here that actually has shelves on the side. So things that I want to put in the dry cleaners, if I don't want to put it in a bag away, I'll just sit it on the shelf. I know that this stuff is for the dry cleaners. I don't want to have these items hung back up because I already wore it and I also don't want them just sitting bundled up somewhere. They're still great pieces. Even if I've worn them, I'm still gonna take care of them before I actually go get them dry cleaned. So, have a designated place for anything that is going to go to the dry cleaners, anything that you possibly may want to wear and have not worn. Maybe it's a new item, it's still in the bag. Have a place for that so it's just not throwing everything else off and out of whack. If you like this video so far, make sure you are hitting that like button below. Let's get into the next tip. The other thing you wanna do is when you have an aesthetically pleasing closet and you wanna keep it tidy, you wanna maximize the space. Since I have the Ikea pack set, I do have drawers in here, I have pullouts in here, I have an extra closet in here. This extra closet in this bedroom, because it's a bedroom, it has its own closet, I'm utilizing that for my long coats, I'm utilizing that for summer clothes so it's out of the way. I can definitely hang some longer jackets here, but I don't want to do that. I'll have a couple of it, but the majority of them are in the actual closet. So if you do create a closet, a walk-in closet from a bedroom, utilize that closet in that room. Do not cover it up. Make sure you can get to it if you do cover it up. It's a good way for you to maximize that space that you have, adding other things at the bottom. The reason why I like the IKEA packs, I don't even know if you guys can see. 
but you can have two layers of clothes like tops and bottoms depending on how tall you are this is not the tallest one so I'm still thinking about getting it if I had the tallest one my shelf here would be a lot higher and my clothes will actually be a lot higher I'm just utilizing the ones that I have I did not think that the tallest one could fit but it actually can so maximizing a space is another way that I like to keep it aesthetically pleasing and tidy and as far as the aesthetic part of that I'm just gonna have my tops on top and if my pants can fit at the bottom I'll do that on this side you can kind of see my little pull out drawer and I have blazers on top so I'm utilizing the top and the bottom think about your closet if you're in your closet in your home and you just have a single closet I call them New York City closets some small closets you are likely not maximizing the bottom part of it if you don't have a shelf or another uh, rod if you have your coats in there you probably can't put a second rod but it's just a really good way to maximize that space and kind of make everything tidy and it looks really, really good. I don't even know what number this is, but you also want to invest in things that's going to make it look aesthetically pleasing and that would help with the tidiness. What I mean by that is a rolling rack is perfect. Ikea has a ton of, I'm not going to say a ton, I think they have two or three. There's one that's kind of short, it doesn't have any shelves on the side, and then the other one actually has shelves on the side. It's a little bit taller, it's the one that I have, and I showed a video of it so, so, so long ago. Uh, but it's a good shelf to have in here. It has wheels, I can roll it, and I can add things to the shelf. One thing I love about a rolling rack is if you don't have a ton of stuff on it, you can put your clothes on it for a video or something that you're doing. I'm saying a video because a lot of people do content. <laughs> so it's just a good thing, an extra item to have in your closet. The other thing you wanna invest in is if you do get something like the Ikea pack system, get some drawers, guys. Those drawers are humongous. They're like $45, or give or take. You don't need the ones with the glass if you don't want to show what's in the drawer, but definitely get you drawers because that is a great way to store sweaters and things that you do not want to put on a hanger. The last thing is you want to follow the one in, one out rule. What I mean by that is, and it's not realistic for some, but in order to keep it tidy and aesthetically pleasing without having a bunch of clothes in your closet, is the one in one out rule. I teach my clients this all the time. If you wanna buy something new, you gotta get rid of something, okay? So, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting rid of a shirt because you're buying a shirt. It could be a jacket that's taking up space that you know that you can't fit or it's damaged, get rid of it before you actually buy the other item. It's just a really good way to kind of like pre-purge your closet without having to do it all at one time. You're doing it like slowly and in a pace where that is conducive to your lifestyle. So the one in one out room, definitely follow that guys. So there you have it. Those are my tips for having an aesthetically pleasing closet that is tidy guys. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Super simple. I wanted to do this because this is how I am in my home. This is not just for social media. Your girl has always been like this, a part of me, it's a part of my, my family. When you are Caribbean, okay, certain things we just do, right? And that is one of them, keeping things in order and keeping things tidy, guys. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. Make sure you are commenting below and hitting that like button. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC. And my style services, Coco Styles NYC. NY.com. And guys, I am going to cut this outro eventually because it's so long. But I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.